Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new edition of Palm Mash TV. I'm Palm Mash, of course. And uh, your feedback is phenomenal lately, just like usual. And if you haven't had a chance to give us feedback yet, don't worry about it because after the song, the closing credits will be there and we'll have email address, Facebook, etc. So don't hesitate to look that up and contact me. I'd love to hear from you. From Robertsville, Alabama, we have David Cody on this episode. Very talented musician, just like all the others we've had in the past. They've all been talented as well. So this goes without saying. So without further ado, let's welcome David Cody right here on Paul Mash TV. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another interview here on Paul Mash TV. And uh, with us is David Cody from Robertsville, Alabama. Uh, so uh, wanna, let's bring him a welcome here. Uh, thanks for coming on the show, David. Oh, thank you for having me, Paul. Yeah, we're glad to have you, and um, I guess uh, a question that I seem to ask a lot is uh, the same question because everybody has their own story, but why don't you tell me a little bit about what it was that made you decide to be a musician? Uh, I'm sure you uh, have a good story that you can tell us about that. Well, the, the main reason is uh, my older brothers were both musicians, and they're set, they were seven and eight years older than me. Mm. So when I when I was growing up, you know, they were my, they were musicians already, and I just wanted to be a musician with my brothers, you know, and and that's what got me going. And um, I started playing music professionally when I was thirteen, uh, and the, the very first place that I ever played at was a bar called Tedder's Lounge in uh, Florella, Alabama. Mm -hmm. That was. Uh, very first place. I was 13 years old. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's been a lot of uh, bands that, or at least singers that motivated you in music. Uh, do you have a few that stand out in your mind? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, def, uh, as far as uh, musically, I would say my biggest, my biggest influence is uh, definitely Don Henley from the Eagles. Mm -hmm. And the Eagles themselves, you know, they, they, that's probably my favorite group of all time. Uh, mm. uh, I just appreciate their harmonies and um, their, you know, their musical songwriting ability and just, you know, I've just always, I've never heard a song by them I didn't like, you know, so it's just, uh, they're, they're really good. And um, a lot of the, a lot of the rock stuff, you know, the Southern rock and, and classic mm -hmm. rock is what really inspired me to, because uh, my main instrument is drums. That's what I started out playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, uh, when I felt like I could play those songs and, you know, was in a band that we were covering those songs very well, I felt like I achieved something, you know, because I was playing the music that a lot of the people that inspired me, uh, their music inspired me to play. So when I felt like, when, when I played their music, it, it was a big sense of achievement to me, you know, and it just kind of, it, it self-encouraged me to keep going, you know, and that's, that's, that's the thing I would have to say about the, the music that I've heard on the radio and jukeboxes and stuff like that, that, um, you know, that influenced my playing styles, you know, was probably that reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, you know, um, like you said, the Eagles is probably uh, one of the uh, the top uh, rock bands of all time. I mean, especially yeah, since yeah. They, they had so many, uh, you know, songs that uh, were really good. You know, like uh, Hotel California, obviously, is one of their probably most popular ones, or the one most oh, people yeah. remember them by. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, man. Um, now, uh, have you had any albums in the past, or are you thinking about doing an album in the future? Maybe you could discuss that a little bit. Um, well, I did do a uh, collaboration album, me and my brother. Uh, we, we, were, we were formerly known as the Bama Boys Band, and we've been playing around these, this area here for uh, over, over 20, 20 years, 25 years, 26 years. Mm -hmm. And... Um, uh, so we did a collaboration album together at under the Cody brothers. Hmm. Um, and, uh, that, uh, we put it on Amazon a long time ago and it was, it was kind of like, uh, you know, done in a home studio just with the equipment that we had available to us at the time. And, you know, we just did the best that we could. We didn't, we didn't go to a studio and do it. So we just 
you know, made the best of it, it, it you know, with the equipment that we had and, and the re recording equipment that we had uh, available to us that we could afford to get, you know, we just recorded it ourselves and produced it and, you know, it came out pretty good, you know, and it was, uh, that was the first album uh, that we've ever done. And then uh, the, I just released one uh, under David Cody uh, and there's some stuff out there under the Bama Boys too. Um, on uh on uh what is that um it's on amazon and uh uh itunes and also that radio station uh spotify it's on spotify uh, and uh right now i've got about i got about six more songs that aren't finished yet that i'm still working on in my own studio uh trying to get those finished for my next album in which i'm hoping that it's going to be coming out uh, I, would I would say, say I'm shooting for, for middle, middle summer, summer, middle to late, late summer, summer is when I'm shooting, shooting on having it done. Okay. Well, uh, I'm sure everybody will be looking forward to that. And, um, uh, well, right now I can't think of anything more to talk about, but, uh, we just want to thank you again, uh, David for coming on the show. And, um, uh, I tell all my guests this, you know, you're always welcome to come back sometime, you know, if you have something new to plug, and uh, we'd love to have you back on the show. Sure, I'd love to, Paul. Okay. And now uh, we're getting ready to play a song that, uh, according to what you told me before the show, this is the first song that you ever um, did. It was called You Hung the Moon. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe you could talk to us mm -hmm. a little bit about that before we play the video. Sure. Uh, the, the song is, was... Uh... It's basically about you know meeting uh, meeting someone that for the very first time and the magic is so incredible that you you just immediately fall in love with that person. You know I know it kind of sounds like a fairy tale and all that, but it happens. You know it, it happens to people all the time, and that's what the song is inspired by is the thought of meeting a uh, just the the person of your dreams. And, and immediately just falling head over heels in love with them. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to go right to that song now. Here's You Hung the Moon by David Cody right here on Paul Mash TV. Don't go whack. to my life at an unexpected time my whole world had come apart and I'd almost lost my mind then a vision of an angel walked into the room from that moment it's been certain to me Now you're here with me And there's nothing to compare To the pure romantic chemistry In the moments that we share The things that dreams are made of Finally have come true I had to let you know what you mean to me you hung the moon to me you hung the moon you help me get over all that I've been through that special magic's happened to me 